what is up you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here then welcome my name is sarah today i'm going to be sharing with you guys my favorite products from the year 2019 these are products that i have absolutely fell in love with over the last 12 months and these are pretty much my holy grails and products that I am 100% confident that you guys will love if you give them a try. If you guys are interested in seeing what the products are and if you need some new product ideas, then keep on watching. But before you guys keep on watching, please give this video a huge thumbs up and make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. We are on the road to 1K subscribers and I am so, so, so excited and so beyond grateful for every single one of you. Um, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the skincare category. So the very first skincare product I would like to recommend to you guys is the Pretty Filter Glassy Skin Balm. This is by the brand Touch In Touch and Soul. Um, this is pretty much a lotion that you guys would spread onto your face. It works well as a primer. That's what I use it for. I put it on my face before bed and I put it on my face before I do my makeup. And it's the only product that I've been able to find this winter that doesn't or that actually hydrates my skin my skin is so 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 dry um so if you guys have dry skin this is definitely something i recommend to you specifically the next thing i use every single week is this lms superfood vital veggie mask um every single time i use this mask i wake up the next morning with completely flawless skin um and i don't usually have that so um I owe it all to this mask. This mask can be used twice a week, but I only use it once a week, so I can only imagine like what my skin would look like if I actually used it twice. Um, this actually came in one of my BoxyCharms, so thank you BoxyCharm for sending me this. <laughs> Moving on, another product that I am 100% confident about is this Aveeno Positively Radiant Face Wash. I use this face wash every single night to take off my makeup. I do not use makeup wipes in the winter, they completely dry out my skin. So I definitely recommend this face wash. It takes everything off. If you need to, like afterwards, use a like micellar water to get the rest of your makeup off or a toner but this usually does the trick and i don't usually like to use either of those other products because they dry out my face as well um so i definitely recommend this moving on this is more of a cosmetic product this is the jergens natural glow wet skin moisturizer you put this on while you're in the shower and it will give you like a little bit of a tan to wear throughout the day if you put it on every single day your tan will progressively get darker but um I don't always put it on every single day um but when i do you can definitely tell and it's like but like not in a bad way you know what i'm saying and the last of the skincare products that i absolutely fell in love with like these are 10 out of 10 products like there's plenty of products that i absolutely adore but these are like the products i've never ever ever had a problem with um and this is the lara mercier tinted moisturizing oh tinted moisturizer illuminating natural skin perfector if you don't want to wear foundation this is a awesome alternative um i usually wear this in the summer because i hate wearing foundation in the summer it is so disgusting um and this is like so perfect and it really does illuminate your skin and make you look so glowy so yeah i definitely recommend that as well moving on into makeup this is my favorite category i love me some makeup the very first thing i would like to recommend to you guys is a couple of primers um the very first primer i am absolutely loving is the elf i think it's yeah poreless putty primer i don't want to pronounce it wrong um this is super cheap and super 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 good like this does the job um i've been looking for it for a really long time i can't always find it it's usually sold out where i live but my friend kim actually put this in one of her giveaways and i was so 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 excited to get another one um go follow kim on her instagram her instagram is caked by kim i've mentioned her before on my channel but i definitely recommend checking her out another affordable primer that i am really loving is the l'oreal i dropped it the l'oreal infallible glow lock primer um my friend steph recommended this to me to wear with a specific foundation and i've come to find out that this actually works really well with a lot of the foundations that i love um but specifically the foundation is actually something i fell in love with so it is coming up i will make sure i tell you guys which one it is this is definitely for those of you with dry skin if you don't have dry skin i'm not really sure how these products 
will work for you but um if you do have dry skin i'm telling you right now like this is what you need in your life and the last primer i would like to recommend is more on the pricey side it is the um tarte timeless smoothing primer this is like up there in price but it's also worth it it is very comparable to the elf um primer i just recommended but a lot more expensive and it it it's worth the extra couple dollars but like if you want the effect of this for cheap definitely get the elf but yeah this is the um tarte version and moving on into foundation i would like to recommend to you guys the nyx can't stop won't stop um this is the foundation that i found works really well with the um l'oreal primer that i recommended to you guys this is so 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 good and definitely one of the best drugstore foundations that i have ever 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 found thank you steph so much for recommending this to me it's super full coverage but like i've never looked cakey as long as i wear it with this i haven't actually tried it with a, another primer this just works so well together that i am afraid to try anything else but yeah if you guys are looking for a really good affordable um drugstore foundation this is the one to try the second foundation i want to recommend is the Too faced born this way i actually still have the box but um i have used it this is the best <laughs> foundation i've ever tried i haven't tried every foundation but out of the ones i have tried this is the best one and it's super full coverage and i always look super bomb when i wear it and i feel my best in it um it's definitely on the pricey side so i rarely wear it that way i can make it last i usually wear my nyx every single day but when i'm really like trying to like step out and like do full glam this is the one that i reach for and moving on into some more makeup products the powder that i recommend the most is the cody airspun powder now this sounds super crazy because the laura mercier powder does exist and that's also super amazing but this is definitely more affordable it's five dollars at walmart and um it lasts a super long time this package is huge or the container is huge and it does the job it does a really good job at setting my makeup i've never had an issue with it and um yeah that's pretty much all i have to say about that the concealer that i love the most this isn't going to come as a shock to anybody i'm pretty sure and that is the tarte shape tape concealer this is the best concealer i have tried it is the only concealer that i faithfully buy i've tried other concealers and none of them just none of them compare like this is so creamy it blends out beautifully it doesn't really crease it creases a little bit it's definitely not crease proof but it creases the least out of the ones that i've tried and moving on to my favorite eyeliner this is the hank and henry slick with it um eyeliner and this is what it looks like it's like a pen it's like a felt tip pen and it glides on super easily and um i just don't have any complaints about it um usually eyeliners rub off throughout the day and this one does not so that's why i am super in love with it down to my last two makeup products to recommend are the um benefit precisely my brow pencil this is the only brow pencil i ever use it is the only brow product i ever use and it is definitely 10 out of 10 um this is the shade 5 um this lasts me a pretty good amount of time and it's like 24 dollars ish i'm pretty sure it's 24 but um this is definitely my holy grail and definitely um will be coming into 2020 with me as well as the other products i have mentioned so the last makeup product i have to recommend to you guys is the morphe x jeffree star setting spray i have tried plenty of setting sprays in my lifetime and this is the one that beats all the rest i usually use the urban decay all nighter but that is definitely um more on the pricier side this one is a good alternative and it's a little bit cheaper and it smells so bomb um it doesn't smell completely like strawberries but it does smell pretty good it smells a lot better than other setting sprays is what i'm saying so yeah i definitely recommend this to you guys um oh and by the way let me know in the comments if you guys do try all these products and if you are already tried them out how did they work for you i'm very curious moving on to the last category that is the hair category i only have a couple products but these are definitely products that i am um, obsessed with and believe in completely 
And the very first one I want to recommend is the, I think it's Briogeo, Briogeo, B-R-I-O-G-E-O, -E Don't Despair, Repair, Strength and Moisture Leave-In Mask. I put this in my hair every single day. I'm not really sure if you're supposed to do that, but it smells so good and it always makes my hair look so healthy afterwards. So I definitely recommend using this. This also came in a BoxyCharm and so... Thanks again, Maxi Charm, for sending me all these amazing products. Um, I can't wait to restock on this. This will be the first product that Boxy Charm has sent me that I've completely run out of and need to restock on. So yeah. Moving on is the Dry Bar um, Hair Straightening Brush. This is so cool. I literally just, you just literally brush your hair and it will straighten it for you. It does a really good job. Um, I like to bump my ends under a little bit so I use a actual hair straightener afterwards but to get it like perfectly straight all you need is this and it like I only go over it once like it is so good. Um, I definitely recommend this to anybody and I definitely want to try out their hair dryer. But until then, I'm really loving my Revlon hair dryer. I'm not 100% sure the name of it, but it was $16 at Marshalls like two weeks ago. And ever since I got this hair dryer, my hair has soaked so good and so healthy. It dries my hair so fast. So like I'm not spending a ridiculous amount of time on my hair. Um, and it's so cute look at it it's literally pink pink is my absolutely favorite color so that is another reason i'm obsessed with it um i'm sure that there's nicer hair dryers for more but this one is a really good cheap alternative if you're looking for something um not so pricey that works well so that was actually the last product that i have to recommend i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope that you guys found some products that you guys are interested in trying if you guys enjoyed this video please make sure to give it a huge thumbs up and make sure you guys are subscribed and i'll see you guys in the new year this is my last video for 2019 i can't believe i actually started my youtube channel this year i'm so excited to see what 2020 brings um and yeah so with all that being said bye